Hello fellow sim racers and welcome to Autodrome Most. Here we are at my home racetrack basically in Czech Republic. We got invited here by Porsche and Lechner Racing. We're going to be doing Porsche GD4 race car experience here and we're going to be watching some awesome racing as well. GD4, cars, club sport, cup cars and enjoying some sprint challenge sent to Europe experience and well it just started to rain, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> it's raining very, very much, guys. Alright guys, this is it. Uh, I'm going to be driving in 40 minutes. Right now it's beautifully sunny, but all around me it's massively, massively cloudy. So it's going to 100% rain any minute again. But I actually don't care. I'm, honestly, I'm really nervous, but I'm actually not nervous about driving. I'm actually nervous about having like a good footage for you guys, <laughs> because you guys are supporting me so much. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And it's all because of you. So uh, thank you so much. And wish me luck, guys. In 40 minutes, going into the car, driving Porsche GD4 race car, 430 horsepower. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> then it was time to get ready, suit up, get the helmets and everything go into the garage towards my car, double check the equipment because I forgot some 10 seconds ago, check out this absolutely fantastic, beautiful car, test the seat and get some bad dad jokes. I might not have a kids in the future, but it's all good. <laughs> and then it was time to hit the racetrack. Super cold old tires, almost zero experience, and also, as a funny thing, we were so much in rush, we totally forgot to set up the mirrors. So as you will see in my onboard, we were trying to fix it on a, on a racetrack. Very important to, to say, guys, I only had three laps. I had a very cold tires at the beginning. I was taking it super easy because this was not about hot lapping. This was just listening to the coach who was sitting next to me. He was telling me where to brake, what to do. And I was just following him in the first two laps. Every lap I was massively improving, but obviously you cannot be Rafael Marcello in the three laps. So my most important was massive improvement and feeling really comfortable in the car. You can start the car already, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what, a, what a beauty. Yeah, it's a fantastic car to drive. Yeah, know? I will really take it very slow. The radio is funny because I can hear myself too. Yeah, yeah, I can hear myself also. Okay, so just follow this guy. Okay. At maximum speed.
we had a little technical issue with the mirrors i could only basically see on the right mirror partially so i had to trust my coach with everything and he was telling me the car is approaching so i was going really really slow obviously ice cold tires and uh, waiting for the car to pass When you're on a racetrack, it's always super important to listen to the coach driver because he knows everything. So I was driving not even full throttle at this point so far. I was just being really careful on the cold tires, listening to everything he was telling me, explaining to me before I started to driving a little bit faster. thing I want to say to my viewers on the streams that the radio we had was so good that I could I, I was non-stop talking to the cars now like after every corner I was like wow this is great I love this you know this car is awesome and we were just talking all the time you know it was like I miss my chat you know even when I'm in a race car
getting the feel and trust in the car more and more every single lap was so nice for me improving massively two seconds per lap basically improving every single time getting more and more control of the car made me really really proud Unfortunately, this was over in my in-lap, so I couldn't do another proper lap time. Nevertheless, you can see massive improvements, especially into the first corner, trusting the brakes more and more and more. At the beginning, you can see I'm braking on 200 meters really carefully, 180 meters, 160 meters, and on this in-lap, I already brake around 120 meters, which you can see on the left top of the footage. I also have some traffic during the lap, which I had to overtake into the corner number seven, but I was improving already in the first corner, half a second. In a hairpin, I was almost a second up. Then I lost around another half a second, a second behind the slower car that I need to overtake. And then in the second to last corner, I was already uh, around a second up again. So massive improvement. I'm very, very proud of myself at this point. <laughs> Can't believe we drove Porsche, it was amazing! Guys, I just drove the Porsche, it was unbelievable! I want to do more! I just went to ask the guys from the Porsche experience, from the Lechner Racing. I was asking, I want to do more! I want to do more! This is awesome! <laughs> and uh, cross your fingers. And uh, Guys, unbelievable car, like unbelievable car, like the brakes. I, I didn't expect such a... The ABS is like in a game, you know, like it's so cheating. <laughs> You just smash the brake 100% or something like that, 80% and you go. I need to be a little bit careful with the trail braking because I have a like the sim racing way, you know, trail braking a lot, which is fine here. But in a like last corner, I have to be careful or first corner to release the brake. But I mean, good. <laughs> Guys, the only bad thing about driving experience in a race car is you always want more. It's like a drug. And uh, we did only three or four laps and uh, Unfortunately, uh, obviously I can't drive more because uh, I'm here just to do like a little experience, but I wish I could do more. <laughs> it's, uh, it's addiction, guys. It's like this, the rear racing is like a massive drug and uh, it was awesome, guys. Like, I mean, it was only three, four laps, but I mean, uh, it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Luckily, the weather was nice. We had a dry, so that's what I wanted to try. 
And uh, I really wish I could push because on the last lap I felt more confident, like every lap I felt massively confident on the brakes. And I wanted to push, 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 push more, but obviously, you know, racing is expensive. <laughs> so, guys, I really thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this. And uh, uh, I, w I wanted to have a little better footage. But unfortunately, you know, the, the footage is as it is, guys, because like I couldn't fit the GoPro on the helmet because it uh, was in a, in a bad position and I couldn't fit my head. <laughs> and we had the, the shoulder plus the telemetry from the, from the team, which is very nice. So thank you so much for supporting me, guys. The one, one bad thing with, the, with things like this, guys, this is like experience, you know, so it's very limited always. But I really want to make it, guys. I really want to make it one day. So, guys. Losing weight, we need to lose 30 kilograms. I'm working really hard on it. Every month now, we are losing around five, six kilograms, working hard with my trainer. And I want to do more. Guys, this is, this is just the beginning. If you're watching this video, 2022, uh, September, on my channel with 89,000 subscribers, this is just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. We're gonna push, we're gonna race. We're gonna make it properly, guys. We will, we will race. So yeah, big thanks guys to Lechner Racing and Porsche uh, for having us here this weekend and uh, letting me drive those few laps and uh, it was fucking awesome guys. <laughs> I really feel comfortable and really felt confident, you know, like every lap you just want to go faster and faster and faster. Uh, I just wish I could do more. <laughs> so hey guys, let me know in the comments what do you think. Was it decent for the first time in the Porsche GT4? Was it good for three laps? Let me know guys in the comments. And Florian, who was taking care of me, he was the coach, he was really nice to me, he said all the good things only. He was, I mean, he, he said he was like impressed, so it makes me happy. I couldn't let it go, guys. I couldn't let it go. So I went to the Florian, the, the, the coach, the driver, and <laughs> I asked him like how much we could improve, you know, and he was saying that he was just looking at my lap times, that I was like improving like massively per lap. And he was saying if I could do like 10, 15 laps that I would be on a pace he said. So that makes me really happy, guys. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Because he said like in free laps you can't learn anything when you don't drive this car and don't have any experience like this. And saying that in 10 laps I will be on pace makes me really happy. <laughs> that makes me really happy, guys. So yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. My God. 30 kilos, guys. We need to lose 30 kilos. That's the goal number one. And then we're gonna drive a motherfucking race car.